The Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. Chapter 3. The Creation of Human Animals. That is why God said from the beginning that the woman can never be equal to men until they earn their own right to be a man. Genesis 3.16 Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and your desire shall be subject to your husband, and he shall rule over you. 1-3 be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you, remembering in all things, and keep the ordinances, as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Sirah 2, 228 Divorced women shall wait concerning themselves for three monthly periods, nor is it lawful for them to hide what God has created in their wombs, if they have faith in God and the last day, and their husbands have the better right to take them back in that period, if they wish for reconciliation. And women shall have rights similar to the rights against them, according to what is equitable. But men have a degree of advantage over them, and God is exalted in power and in wisdom. Surah 4.34 Men are the protectors and maintainers of women, because God has given the one more strength than the other, and because they support them from their means. Therefore, the righteous women are devoutly obedient, and guard in the husband's absence what God would have them guard. As to the woman on whose part ye fear disloyalty and ill conduct, admonish them first, next refuse to share their beds, and last beat them lightly, but if they return to obedience, seek not against them means of annoyance, for God is most high, great above you all. Read the Gospel Truth of Thomas, Log 1, 14, 20-26, in the King of Kings Bible, it's Thomas chapter 16. Simon Peter said to them, Let Mary go out from among us, because women are not worthy of the life. Jesus said, I shall lead her, so I will make her male that she too may become a living spirit, resembling you males. For every woman who makes herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. You cannot serve God and be a woman's liber. The two things are totally incompatible, because God has said repeatedly that women are not men's equal. Genesis 3.16 Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrows and thy conception, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be subject to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. 1 Corinthians 11, 1-3 Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. 1 Timothy 2, 11-15 Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was the first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith, in charity, and holiness with sobriety. They are also incompatible because they are complete opposites. Serving God is based on humility, accepting his teachings, and women's liberation is based on arrogance and refusing to accept God's teachings. Man, and not woman, was created in God's image, and first... All of the great prophets were men, and so were all of Jesus' disciples. Now you know why. Blue for a boy, God's color, and pink or red for a girl, Satan's color, red dragon slash serpent. There are clues everywhere in life and in nature. All of the prophets were masters of their own households. The selfish soul has to be a woman first to be taught through motherhood to be less selfish and the meaning of lasting spiritual love. 
instead of human animal emotion. Once a woman becomes a mother, she should become less selfish, putting her child's needs first and her husband's too, because he shall provide for and protect her and his child. She has to learn self-sacrifice and an understanding of real love instead of emotion. 1 Timothy 2.15 Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Men understand real spiritual love better than any woman. Men have already learned to love spiritually, whereas women are emotional, human-animal emotion. This is proved by the fact that when a marriage breaks up, the woman can have sex with somebody else, fall madly emotionally in love with them, and never give her husband a second thought, while it takes an average man between three and five years to get over the hurt, if he ever does. This is because the man's love is spiritual, real, deep, and lasting, whereas the woman's is emotional, shallow, animal, and like animals, only temporary until she reaches a higher spiritual level, becomes a lady, and closer to qualify to be a man, that is, a perfect woman. That is why God, in his great compassion, usually takes the husband first, because the woman can get over the loss easier than a man could, if he took the wife first. The soul has to be a woman first to prepare it for being a man. Being a woman teaches, through the pain of childbirth, self-sacrifice and suffering, in the name of real love, crucifixion, which makes them become less arrogant and less selfish, bringing humility and tenderness. Girls were always brought up and taught to care for people, to teach them humility and love through taking care of others, like Jesus taught by washing his disciples' feet. John 13:5. After he poureth water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Nurses are very good examples of this. Motherhood teaches self-sacrifice by putting her children's needs first, if she is a good mother. The fading of a woman's beauty teaches her humility and to change her values from animal attraction and outward show to needing to be loved for her spiritual qualities instead of her looks, that is, spiritual love instead of animal attraction or lust. Women age while men mature and become more distinguished, unless marred by an evil life. This is all designed to teach the soul to be a perfect lady, wife, and mother, and to be humble and unselfish. A real lady, spiritual qualities, not money or titles, has already learned special qualities that are preparing her to become a man in a later lifetime. She has grace and elegance. Without arrogance, it is 100% feminine soft, warm, affectionate, and loving, is self-sacrificing and humble towards her loved ones and people in general, is modest about her body, and does not exhibit her nakedness to anyone except her husband, is a virgin when she gets married, saving her charms unspoiled for the man she loves, a woman almost always falls in love with and never forgets the man to whom she gave her virginity. 1 Timothy 2.15 Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. A lady has progressed from being an animal and attracting people with sex to wanting people to respect and be attracted to her soul, which is the real her. She has also learned the difference between love and emotion, and the last but not least, has learned compassion, which is a godlike quality and the most important qualification needed to become a man. The lowest male spiritual level is above the highest female spiritual level in terms of understanding of spiritual matters of love and compassion, but because a soul has had to start again on becoming a man, there are women who appear to be more intelligent than some men in worldly matters. This is designed so that the two sexes can help each other on the upward climb. Mothers being on a lower spiritual and more human physical level, are equipped to take care of the physical needs of the family's bodies, feeding, cleaning, nursing, choosing and mending, clothes, etc., and giving affection. Dads, being on a higher spiritual level and less emotional, are better equipped to take care of the family's discipline and spiritual guidance. Women, as opposed to ladies, are often moralists, adapting themselves 
to the morals of their partner and changing when they change their partner and they generally have no code of honor. People say that women can be vicious, callous, bitchy, catty, emotional, all of which are animal attributes, materialistic, scheming, have no compassion or pity, and have vicious tempers and tongues. Hell, planet Earth, has no fury like a woman's scorn. Man should firmly but gently, like God does, use his superior strength and understanding to maintain discipline and order. Women are more materialistic than men, and men just slave their lives away to buy things for their women, and some work themselves to death in the process. Who wears the jewelry in a family? Silly bits of yellow metal and colored stones. And who has the biggest wardrobe of clothes? Isaiah 3, 16 to 24. Moreover, the I am saith, because the daughters of Zion are arrogant and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and make a tinkling with their feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the I am will lay bare their secret parts. In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, and their headdress, and their crescents. The chains, the bracelets, and the mufflers, the bonnets, and the ornaments of the legs, and the headbands, and the houses of the soul, and the earrings, the rings around the nose, jewels, the changeable suits of clothing, and the mantles, and the wimples, and the curling devices, the glasses, and the fine linen, and the hoods, and the veils, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle to tear, and instead of well-set hair baldness, and instead of stomacher a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. Once the soul has become a man, it then has to work towards perfecting its understanding of compassion, spiritual love, and selflessness. It should be honorable and moral, fighting evil and injustice, and to protect its family, whilst working towards being a perfect, as far as possible in hell, man like Jesus. A soul is only as good as its word, and only has the same value as the word of honor. There is no such thing as a special word of honor, because every word should be honorable and the truth. You will not bear false witness, tell lies, Ten Commandments, Matthew 5.37. But let your eyes be yes, and your no be no, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil.